Today we've got new iron for 2024 to review. It's the Callaway AI Smoke and AI Smoke HL irons. We've got Kevin here to hit some shots. We've got TrackMan ready to track all the information and we'll tell you everything that you might need to know about the AI Smoke irons from Callaway. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft here at the Minnetonka Tour Van to review and test some new irons. We've got Callaway AI Smoke Irons. Um, so Callaway's kind of been the leader for the last several years in sort of the AI um, ingenuity in developing their clubs. Yeah. And so this is, uh, it's not a, a surprise now to get AI in the nail of the club. Um, AI Smoke Irons, there's two models. Um, I guess first, before we dive into it, what do you, what do you see Initially, first impression here. Uh, first thing I see is kind of a trend that's been going on with Callaway over the last couple of releases. Completely different shape. Mm -hmm. Like this is a very, very different shape from what I have seen out of Callaway through the through the years. So um, I don't know what to expect anymore. Yeah. I, I, they've, they've always kind of had a shape. It's always been one of the shapes that I really like. And this one's going to take a little, just a little mm -hmm. bit of getting used to. It's it's definitely different standing mm -hmm. over it, looking down. You don't. To me, it doesn't necessarily look like what I would expect a Callaway iron to look like, but I will expect that it will be explosive the way Callaway is typically explosive. Right. So yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no shortage of distance when it comes to Callaway irons, especially yeah. in these categories. So the AI Smoke is the one I have in my hand. This is going to be, it'll be a, a game improvement iron for sure. It's a hollow body build, um, but there's a new club face design, AI uh, Smart Face, and what they've done is taken data from you know, real golfers hitting real golf shots. And basically they've used that data plus artificial intelligence to come up with a unique face map, face design that um, provides the best performance on all these different areas where golfers will strike the golf ball the most. And so that's gonna be different. You mean that's the, not the center? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> yes. So the smoke uh, model that I have, the standard AI smoke, has a different face map, face material than the HL model that you yeah. have. So um, because they're, designed for different types of golf. Sure. Things. So um, that is the big innovation here. Uh, and then of note as well, the AI smoke that I have is at 28 degrees okay. on the seven iron. So a rather strong lofted club yep. should be very explosive. Yep. That HL model is at 30 degrees and typically we'll have maybe a little bit more weight also lower there kind of designed sure. to get launched in the air. Yeah. So um, I'm curious to see what we have here. I, I think it's kind of cool to see these manufacturers kind of almost, I know you've been need loft and need spin in the fitting yeah. base of some irons. And so yeah. you're seeing these manufacturers now come out with an option that provides, really is doing that job, is to get the ball in the air. Yeah, the or the original paradigm, we had the standard and then we had the, the X, yeah. right? The X was not, I mean, it was supposed to be the higher launching right. club, but it really wasn't dedicated so much to that. Mm -hmm. So seeing them come with a version that is dedicated toward better trajectory, Hopefully, maybe with a little bit, you know, a little weaker loss, maybe we'll get a little more spin. Um, you know, I I think this might just be something that I can get more people into. Right. You know, with those dynamics. Right. And then there's actually also a third AI smoke model, the AI smoke Max Fast, which is going to be kind of your lightweight um, hmm. sort of, you know, kind of like the is it Epic Star pair? Star, Star. Sure. Yeah. And that's kind of morphing yeah. into the line now as sort yeah, of a good. lightweight premium option. So nice. we don't have that one to test today. We instead have AI Smoke. We have AI Smoke HL. I think we're ready to hit some shots here with TrackMan. Um, yeah. Which one are we starting with today? Um, yeah, let's start with the easy one. Okay. It's it's early. <laughs> it is early today. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. <laughs> All right, so Kevin, yeah. starting with the HL, the yeah. Paradigm AI Smoke HL um, shape and appearance at address. What do you see? Yeah, it's just it's just different. Um, it's not. It doesn't have the hallmarks that I have come to be used to with with Callaway. It's not that it's a bad shape. It's just a different shape. Mm -hmm. um, blade lathe looks pretty long, which is nice. Um, maybe it's the fact that, you know, we don't have quite as, as steep a, a jump up to the toe, maybe yeah. a little bit, a little, you know, more compact in terms of, of height on the, on the club head, um, which is kind of a hallmark of a higher launching golf club, yeah. right? I mean, if you You're think right. about some of the other things we've seen through time, shallow typically means higher launch. So yeah, right, that might right. actually have been a conscious effort when they were putting this iron together, yeah. going, hey, if we don't make the, the, the 
the height quite as big. We can, yeah, we can maybe the, get a little higher launch. So the face is not as tall. Yes, exactly. Yep. Yeah. So that might that might have actually factored in there. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it looks good. It's it's clean. Um, it's got the you know it's got your normal chrome and then then the the sandblasted face. Mm -hmm. So um, and then uh, I think is that the was it the cipher regular flex? This graphite? is the cipher sixty five five. Okay. So not quite. Like regular, regular, but yeah. not quite, certainly not quite stiff. Right. Probably a good place for me to start <laughs> <laughs> this morning. All right. So in this one, remember, we're at 30 degrees of loft at this Yes. One. That was a little thin. I mean, two very good golf shots nonetheless. Yeah, not too bad. I don't think we're going to, I really don't think we're going to end up lacking for distance with this thing. I don't think so either. That was a better strike. That huh? was. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, 105 feet in the air. That's good height. All right, you got a few good ones, a few maybe off the uh, bottom of the face a little bit. But, yeah, too uh, thin, how's, too thin, how's too the, solid. How's the feel of it so far? It, it feels actually feels really good. It's, yeah. It's uh, it doesn't. F we I haven't heard that tinny tinny right. sound, uh, so it sounds crisp, mm -hmm. uh, and it feels crisp. It doesn't feel harsh, but it feels pretty responsive. You sure. can tell where you catch it on the face. And you can tell when you pull it a little bit. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> It's still a pretty good golf shot, right? Yeah, not terrible. That's the golf shot I want to hit. All right. No, this feels it feels really feels quite good. Yeah. I think I think we're seeing some pretty decent trajectory on solid strikes. I like that spin rate right there. That's your highest ball speed here, I think. All right, let's okay. bring up some numbers. Yeah. And so here's the total dispersion. I actually like how these thin ones that you thought were thin are, yeah. are I mean, they're in the same area. It's really right? not bad. It's yeah. uh, trying to, because your first two shots were thin, right? So this one, yeah. I mean, this one's right in the middle of the whole pack. Uh, again, this is total distance. If I go to carry, it comes down a little bit more, uh, but you're losing like a five yards. That's what anybody would want. Yeah. Honestly, if you, if you don't quite catch it, and you don't lose copious amounts of right. yardage, the the sweet spot areas of this club face are doing what they're supposed yeah, to I do. Yeah, I mean, we've, right? it, how many times have we, we've all experienced, right? You hit, you swing and you kind of hit it a little bit thin and you know that it's gonna, that carry number or mm -hmm. how far it travels in the air is gonna decrease a ton. But with this club, you had a couple of them right away that you said were thin and instead of dropping down into the 160s, yeah. we're still very much in the 170s, 175 yep. there. And then your, you know, your solid strikes towards the end here were around 180 carry. Yeah. So you're losing five, maybe a little over five yards with, with a thin shot. Great. That's really, really good. Yeah. So kudos really to, to, pair, to uh, Callaway for the, yeah. the smoke yep. HL model here. Yep. Um, does any, else, any other numbers up here jump out of you? Um, that you see, because uh, we got the first two here that, you know, if we do remove, we see that spin number climb back up to about 5,000. Yeah. Um, some good ones. Yeah, you're hovering around just 5,000. Right about 5,000 is, so. is actually great. What my experience with the with the last season's paradigm was less. Yeah, okay. And, and that is definitely problematic for a lot of people, mm -hmm. right? I hit it high enough that I can, I can typically get away with it, but... Um, there's a lot of people that need that trajectory right. and need as much spin as they can get. So and that's why um, there's an HL model, I imagine. Yeah, I think um, that I think that's there's there's just a need for it, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's something that the industry really they've gone almost as far as they can go in terms of making a club not spin. Right. And now they're like, oh, well, wait, spin. Spin's actually a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So because uh, not everybody's going to hit towering golf shots. So we're going to have to make the ball stop somehow. Right. Otherwise, we're all chipping from back over the green, and that tends to not be very good. Yeah, and yeah. typically there's more trouble behind the Correct. green than there is in front of it. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, 
It's good notes there from the Paradigm AI Smoke HL model. So yeah. now we can kind of put in the other model to the test and I imagine the similar concern is still there where you need to make sure there's enough spin sure. and launch from sure. the standard model here. You put them down at address, what do you see between the two? Uh, a little bit more standard looking iron. Not, still not quite what Callaway has typically looked like. Um, a little smaller but not small. So it's not, you're not going from a, you know, from a big iron to a small iron. Right. Um, definitely somebody that's maybe a bit more consistent is gonna, gonna go with this one. Uh, or not looking maybe for quite what the, what the trajectory is gonna be here. Sure. You said this was 28, right? Yeah, 28. So two degrees stronger. Uh, you get that player that wants a little bit more you know, a little more distance. Yep. Sole width is a little thinner here. Sure. Okay. So Imagine a little more that, forgiving yeah. in that HL in that HL model. Um, but you know, clean badging on both. They both look they both look good. Mm -hmm. so, nothing offensive. Yeah, a little hanger. Okay. A little hanger. It's all right. Different shaft here as well. Too. Yes. This is the uh, stock steel. Is it yeah. the Elevate? Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, okay. Elevate 95, so it's it's 35 grams yeah, so uh, heavier than that There's going to be a change one, so. in how that feels just yeah. by the, the shaft, yeah, of course. That might have possibly influenced the fact that that club face didn't quite square up that time. Yeah. yeah. There's a good golf shot there. There we go. So that spin definitely has dropped from the last club. Now that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it does. Um, it should, I would imagine hovering in the mid 4,000s is probably where you'd think maybe a little yeah. more than 4,500 on average. Yeah, I, I'd be, I, at this point, I'd be hoping for about 4,500. Okay. You know, two degrees stronger. Yeah, because uh, the other one was about 5,000 with yeah. uh, 30 yeah. degrees and um, with the this, HL. So. This actually feels really, really good. Yeah. Very solid. Yeah. That was a little thin. Okay, that's what it sounded like. So we'll see here. Okay. <laughs> Didn't really lose anything. No, you did not. Okay, well, a little trajectory. Yeah. A little bit of landing angle. What's funny about that one is the smash factor was still one, four, three. Was it Despite really? Despite it going, being a little thin, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I got a little on that one a little bit. Wow, yeah, I feel like I mean, again, I don't have, I'm not, the memory is not perfect, but I feel like every shot has been just over 180 carry. Yeah, that has um, seemed to be the case. Yeah. Here's our, yeah, I mean, there it is. Okay. They're all right there. Um, that's what, six shots? You get, let's yeah. hit one more, just so we got oh, seven of each. Okay. I would prefer if this one was a little thin too, because last time <laughs> you had two thin ones. Okay, that's a little bit more thin than I wanted. <laughs> Uh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll take that out of the shot here, out of the sample. We'll leave uh, it in the video for you guys. I to was enjoy. actually trying to top it, but I didn't quite. Didn't uh, you're quite just too good. It. You can't top it. <laughs> I think as of yesterday, we've we've determined that I can. That's true. That's true. But only with um, fairway woods. Uh, <laughs> Okay, that was a little thin. Was it actually? It was. Gosh, you're, you're too good. You're too good. Okay. So, let's do this here. Let's compare some numbers. <laughs> um, uh, I had to do that too. Despite the, uh, the top. So, okay, I'm trying to think. This one was thin. Yep. And I think it was this one was also thin. Yeah, I think that's correct. So these two, look where they're at on the map too. One right here, one right here. Yeah. Um, they lost no carry number, right? Yeah, 181, 178. So you lost like two carry yards yeah. by hitting it a little bit thin on that last one. Might be something to this new AI face they got going on here. There's something to it. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, usually, to look, thin to win, right, is, is the, the thing, right? It's yeah. usually not terrible. It just comes up a little bit short. It goes straight. But it goes straight. And it's usually. short. Yeah. But it, it never, it's put, never putting you in trouble. Right. This is 
just hit it anywhere on the face and it's to win, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I love I, uh, that. I'm kind of curious if I go like this and see if we can see. Oh. Yeah, there's, yeah. that's low on the face. Yeah. That's low on the face. Yep. I'm getting more towards the middle with these uh -huh. ones. Middle. That one's even, this one's even a little bit low. I mean, that's probably but more nitpicking than anything. That's not going to yeah. be a big difference. Yeah. These are all pretty good. Let's get these yeah. ones down here. Yeah, there's that one's low. I mean, can yep. probably feel that one at yeah. impact. Yeah, sure. Also low. Yep. And those were the ones on the first club that you felt were thin. Yes. And they still kept up very much distance-wise. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm impressed by that. I am I'm too. I'm impressed by that. I am too. I think Absolutely. Callaway should be proud of that. Because there's a lot of golfers out there that will hit the ball thin. Yeah. And they're looking for something like that to make sure that the ball still flies. Well, I love, too, that they've they've gone back to human testing, right, yeah. rather than just doing the robot thing. So <laughs> humans will give you so many more variables yeah, to oh work yeah. with, oh, right? Yeah. So that what they're getting, and when, when they if they're going to use AI for these things, getting that human variable in there and then taking all that data and applying it toward you know, how they build the golf club yeah. can only help them have a better performing golf club for humans, right? Yeah. It's not a robot that's going to be swinging this thing. Yeah, because so. So, what typically has been happening the last several years, it, they get a robot and they you know, set up the club yeah. to you know, make contact with the toe. And then yeah. they go to the, the heel and other places on the club face. Um, but they do not factor in, okay, now this robot's got to swing 10 degrees out to in. Exactly. And then the next swing might be five degrees out to in. Right. Next swing might be zero, zero, you know. Yeah. Um, that part is, is hard to factor in, in, in yeah. with robot testing. Whereas yeah. with humans hitting golf shots, you can get those. You're going to get everything. Yes. And so it sounds <laughs> like that's exactly what Callaway has done with yeah. this club face design. And with both models, it worked really well for Kevin, it seemed like. That was, I was impressed. Yeah. I, I, I like the feel of this. You know, spin rate wise, we did see. Mm -hmm. Kind of what we thought we yeah. would see. A couple degrees stronger. Um, landing angle didn't quite get there for me this time, right? I, I normally yeah. want to see that over 45. Yeah, 45 uh, is your kind of golden number, we right? We were only averaging 92 feet in the air. So that, that'll that be something that, you know, I have as a, as a club fitter, I've got to be yep. cautious about. Um, you know, not that, you know, 44 or 7 on the landing angle is is a red flag, but right. it's... You know, it's a it's maybe orange flag, right? I want to make sure we get the ball. That would especially be concerning when it gets to a five iron. Right. You know, so four iron, if we're if iron. we're seven there with a thing. seven iron, yeah. the likelihood that we're going to need to go to, you know, like a five hybrid is yeah. is probably part of the mix. Or maybe combo it with the with the HL. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's there's all those those conversations happen in every fitting. Yep. And, you know, you're one golfer, the next golfer might hit the ball super high and yeah. they might need that lower yeah. spin. Great. Um, Perfect. So exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why it's important to get fit. So yeah. uh, great performance here from the Paradigm cool. AI Smoke Irons, both of the standard and HL models. Um, yeah. I think we can wrap it up with final thoughts here. Yeah, I'm excited to get to get to work with these. All right, Mr. Craft Testing Complete, Paradigm AI Smoke Irons. Um, I was really impressed. Um, yeah, I think you know there's um, a lot to be said about these the you know what we hear from the manufacturers about what the irons and what the drivers right. and what everything's supposed to do and the new technologies. But um, you know when we're told that they did all this new this new testing method and these club face designs are all different with each um, you know hot spot and the mm -hmm. sweet spots are magnified at certain areas of the club face because yeah. that's where people hit the golf ball and then it performs that way. That's that's pretty cool. It is cool. Pretty cool. It is cool. And you know, sometimes it's sometimes it's tough as a as a consumer. And you know, we're not just club fitters and testers and yeah, yeah. And stuff. We're we we play this game. Oh, so yeah. we, we have to take on the same things that everybody else does mm -hmm. in terms of what we're being told. And you know, it's it's not that everybody's trying to reinvent the wheel, but they're trying to make a, a better performing wheel. And I think from last generation to this generation, I think we're definitely seeing that. Um, I thought from a from a feel standpoint, stability standpoint, and then definitely, especially in the HL, from a height and spin standpoint, we're talking about a wheel that's going to it's going to work better on the road. Yeah, right? yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's break down each model here. We'll start okay. with the standard AI smoke that we tested here yep. today. Um, 
the type of golfer that will fit into that model. There. So this will be a lot of golfers, yeah. um, you know, kind of a mid-width sole. So got some forgiveness, but uh, it's a little more compact than than this guy. Yeah. So you're probably not going to see your, your highest handicappers going for this one. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a it's a club that can fit a very wide range of players. Mm -hmm. um, could even use it as a yeah, I don't think you'll find tour players using it, but you could probably find, uh, you know, a four iron in, in, a, in oh, a tour sure. player's bag, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, this will be the one that's going to fit probably the, the majority right. of, of people. Right, right. Uh, those who are looking for a little more forgiveness, got a little thicker sole width here. Um, not bad in terms of top line either, which is something that... You know, yeah, I thought it, the the, HL, the smoke HL actually looks. Yeah, it doesn't look like a chunky. No, game and that's something that sort of what that it's kind of categorized. Callaway's as. always had that. But they've just kind of doubled down on that thicker top line mm -hmm. through the years, and that's been my biggest complaint is that they've had great shaped irons, but then they had this really thick top line. That thick top line is not present in in either of these golf clubs, so they yeah, look okay. really pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. Shape is a little different. Um, but I don't think that's going to be an issue really for anybody, uh, if it's not for me, considering how crazy I am in terms of <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I think they've got a really good package here. Uh, when that, that player needs a little more trajectory, needs a little bit more spin, HL is going to be a great option for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they've, they've differentiated them enough here too. Uh, there's yeah. obviously some performance similarities. They're both explosive. Club yep. face, you know, they're the method of construction is the same the mm -hmm. actual face design is different and the results is great performance for both um player types that this will fit into so um great stuff paradigm yeah, really ai cool. smoke irons are going to be awesome in 2024 schedule your fitting with someone at second swing like kevin here we'll get you dialed in hitting more greens regulation straighter golf shots so thank you kevin for hitting the shots and providing your insights today this was uh absolutely a good one. no it was very good yeah